Hi, and welcome to Every Brand Breakdown. My name is Eric. This is the B in our series. We're going A to Z through the alphabet, going through a brand for each letter, breaking it down, looking at their websites, looking at their products, looking at the secondhand market as an overall picture in order to help people who are looking to add quality products to their closet or to use them, or people that are looking for them at deals, maybe to resell them, make some money. Thank you for joining me today, and we're going to look at Big Agnes together. This is the brand B. If you have a specific brand you wanna see broken down, put it in the comments section below, and we will see what we can make happen. Before we get into it, I'd like to ask for a big thumbs up. Big Agnes, big thumbs up for this content. I hope you are enjoying it and is adding some value to your life, your closet, your business. We're gonna jump right into it. We are on the Big Agnes website. It's got a, a nice gallery slideshow right here. Um, if you're not familiar with Big Agnes, it's actually a smaller company. They are out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. They were founded in 2001. It's a small company with between 50 and 200 employees and they do not have a global footprint as we zoom out. We're going to only see Big Agnes around the US and Canada. It's got just a North American presence, nothing in Europe. So all the Europeans are, are watching this and any Asians or Australians, you are not likely going to find Big Agnes in your country. This is a very North American uh, spread. Might not always be like that, but it is for right now. Uh, back to the website. We got a nice scroll. Uh, I really like this photo right here by Big Agnes because it shows that they are not afraid to highlight other brands. We see an outdoor re guy wearing an outdoor research jacket and we see an Osprey pack right here. And it looks like another Osprey pack down here. And for them to, to showcase this, a scroll away on their website means they probably have a really good relationship with those companies right there. Night or twilight scene in the snow, some beach stuff, and uh, some Instagram st stuff down here. Big Agnes makes tents, they make outdoor gear, they make clothing, sleeping bags, mountaineering stuff, tarps, chairs, tables even, camp furniture. I didn't even know they made tails and ta uh, tables and chairs. That's pretty cool. Pretty high quality, high price, high end stuff that you're gonna be getting. And they started this company even though the camping sector was said to be saturated and they still went full force to create really, really good products. Camp pillows, stuff sacks, double wide sleeping bags, mummies. Yeah, they make some good stuff. Uh, I do wanna highlight on this website, I really like this. They have this sponsorship section where you can apply to be sponsored by Big Agnes if you have an expedition coming up and you basically are trading your thoughts and pictures for either uh, discounted gear or maybe even free gear and you can apply to that sponsorship there. Not saying you're gonna get it, but the fact that they even have that sponsorship application and this uh, pro purchase program, I really like this as well. It's basically saying I'm an influencer, I do reviews, I can apply right here, I'm going to, re and either you're gonna give it to me at a discount or maybe you give it for free. I've never done either of these, but I just thought it was cool that they have that on their website. Uh, I have not, the, the one thing that I have a lot of experience using that was Big Agnes is this Fly Creek High Volume Ultralight 2 tent. I've been using this on a few bike tours. It looks just like this, except for mine is in the orange colorway, like this one right here. Wow, look at that. They just got a movie embedded right into their website. Hi, I'm Sa I Creek 10. Yeah, so, so I have this. Uh, you can see on this YouTube video right here, I'm using the big, you can see the Big Agnes logo right there. Uh, I have it set up in this mode where I don't have the, the mosquito net. It's literally just the rain fly, the footprint, and the poles, and it creates a nice waterproof shelter that's uh, very spacious that I'm, kind of inside right there. And it's, it's, it's a really like, really nice setup. I really like the tent. Did not pay the full 349. I paid, I want to say 175 or 150. And I got it from an REI garage sale. And I just like to buy things secondhand to reduce carbon footprint, save money. Also, it, it already has been depreciated when you buy things secondhand and 
just the way I prefer to do things. Since they haven't been around for that long, their Instagram isn't that big. They're at 100K followers, about half of a percent to a one and a half percent engagement on most of their photos. Some very nice photos, some not as professional looking, but that gives it like a little bit of a smaller company feel. We're gonna cruise their website. Oh, right here. The, they're on this land, they're doing some fun stuff on the Land Cruiser right there. Very Colorado-y, outdoorsy, but we're gonna look at some of the gear on their website. We're gonna kind of look at apparel. That's more likely what you're gonna find secondhand. But if you see all any of these other things with that Big Agnes logo on it, man, that's gonna be worth some money. I'd definitely try to pick it up. They don't have a ton of apparel products, so it is a, gonna be a very, very rare unsaturated brand to find. I have been lucky enough to find a shovel head jacket, which is right here, 219 new, which isn't bad for a really high quality down jacket with a hood, 700 fill. It's got really good reviews and it had the hood on it, a mid-weight jacket. It's got the vertical baffling, which is a little bit different, but it was a really quality jacket. I probably would have kept it, it was my size, but I ended up selling it. We're gonna get into that in a little bit. Down skirt, it's mostly down stuff. This has Prima Loft, which is synthetic down, and ripstop nylon. Um, you'll see that big Agnes on the chest, and that's just a brief look at some of the apparel. It's mostly expensive stuff. They do have a couple t-shirts, but it's gonna be expensive jackets and vests. So let's check out REI because it is an REI brand. REI carries a good amount of their products. Do they sell their apparel? Cause it looks like tents, sleeping bags, sleeping pads. Um, they do have, oh, it doesn't even look like they sell, REI sells their apparel. It just sells their gear, which is their mummy bags, sleeping bags, which are still are very expensive, 350. They also do sleeping pads, they do tents which are all really high quality stuff. There's their pillow, I've never used that. It doesn't look that comfortable to me, honestly, but that's uh, a glimpse of the Big Agnes REI. So we're gonna go to check a flip. We're gonna type in Big Agnes and probably gonna have a high sale percent. Yeah, look at that, 143 average comp and a 65% sell through rate. It's gonna be a lot of green, it's good. Big Agnes is some good stuff. All right, let's go to eBay, Big Agnes. We're gonna look at the entire picture of Big Agnes used, under, only 148 items. So that's how unsaturated, this is, we're not even in apparel yet, we're in just Big Agnes items, 148. So you're most likely gonna be the only person selling that item secondhand. It's mostly tense, tense, tense. Uh, tense, 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 tense. There's a shovel head jacket on auction. I'm actually gonna watch that and maybe try to snipe it on auction. Yeah, it's a one of the, definitely one of the lesser known brands, but we're gonna get into apparel, uh, da, 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 clothing. Only two listings for Big Agnes uh, active. So look how unsaturated that is. We're gonna hit completed. One completed, that was the bids that did not sell. And then we're gonna look at solds. Um, and there's nothing in the solds other than a toddler. So this is very, very uncommon. The shovel head jacket that I bought, uh, I found it actually in a, I found it in the children's section at a Goodwill and it immediately spoke quality to me when I saw it. I've heard of Big Agnes before, and I think I paid $15 for it. I posted it online for 150, and I wanna say I sold it for 140 or 150, something like that. Oh, there's one piece of clothing. Um, let's type in Big Agnes jacket. There's a couple more popped up. I would not auction off this brand. These are two auctions right here. Because it is lesser known, you're not gonna get as much traffic for it, so you're going to wanna put a buy it now for this. So yeah, somebody got a deal on this. It was only 39 bucks plus $16 shipping for this Big Agnes Down Tech Down Jacket. Yeah, well, the one I sold, I sold it for 150 or 140, and I would not have gotten that if I auctioned it, but it was in really, really good condition. 
it was awesome. I would have, like I said, I would have kept it if it was in my size. So that's pretty much all the market we're looking at. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go to Poshmark. I'm gonna show you guys some Poshmark, maybe listings. Let's look up Big Agnes. Uh, not, oh, there's a hat. That's it. There we go, there's a parka. Down jacket, size medium. Size medium, does this have a hood? Does it have the hood? Uh, doesn't, these are some terrible pictures, but it doesn't look like it has a hood based on the pictures. You could probably negotiate this maybe down a little bit and get a good deal on a jacket. Anything else? Maybe we'll type in Big Agnes jacket. And there we go, there's a, this looks exactly like the one that I sold. This looks just like a shovel head. Size medium, is that a men's or a women's? Yeah, it looks just like the shovel head. Sorry, you can tell what model it is by the tag on the inside. They don't have pictures of it and I don't have one to show you guys, unfortunately. But there is a tag on the inside of here and it has the name of the jacket on it. So it said shovel head. So it was super easy to identify what it was, what it MSRP'd for. And then I, I gauged since the shovel head um, retailed for 220 plus tax, I ended up posting mine for 150 or 140 and selling it just about 50, 60 bucks cheaper than that. Um, about 70, what is that? About 70% off of, 70%, 70% of retail price is what I sold it for. Shovel head down jacket, asking 94. Yeah, you're gonna get it like a, if you, if you post it, buy it now, you're gonna get a bill for it, at least. If you take good pictures, there's a down vest, they're asking 45, still a pretty good deal, considering they are, <laughs> Where's the women's vest? Women's vest is a 190 or 129, depending on which vest that is. You, you really don't have a big secondhand market with Big Agnes. So you can ask some premium prices. You can take better pictures. Um, I would definitely do, they don't even have a, a picture of the back of it. You gotta take front and back. This is a steal, they're right, this is a steal. Check them out on backcountry.com as well and they did not show what level down it is. That's a little look at the market. I recommend 70 to 80% of the retail price once you figure out the name of the jacket, take some good pictures, and then you're just gonna have to wait out. You gotta find the right person. The, obviously the market is not saturated one bit. It's a very, very rare uh, high quality brand, and I, I wish everyone luck out there to find one. Um, we're gonna look at their warranty right now. I've never used their warranty but I still like to check it out. Oh, they have a 100% guarantee. If one of our products does not perform to your satisfaction, contact the customer service team and we'll help find the gear that fits your needs. So it sounds like a very all-encompassing guarantee. It's just like, I'm not satisfied. It doesn't say anything about original purchase or anything. Then they have a, another subsection of warranty over here. They're guaranteed against manufacturing material defects, Rep this is what it what's uh, important. Repair to replace the discretion of Big Agnes. So if it's something that looks just like wear and tear versus a flaw, like I said, a seam, a zipper or something, they can replace it or they'll give you credit if you have the receipt. So they'll replace it with something similar or you must have the receipt for credit. They, oh, this is really cool. So they will repair stuff purchased at REI garage sales for free. That is awesome. That's a that, that's them standing by their products. They wanna keep the gear in circulations. Better for the carbon of the earth. That's such a good thing. I just actually realized that. I never knew that they, they did that. And then they define normal wear and tear. We pay for shipping. They give you some DIY repairs. Um, very good. They wanna keep their products out there. They wanna make the customers happy, which is really awesome. Much respect to Big Agnes. I will put a link to the warranty in the description just to make it easy. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, that's, a, that's an overview of Big Agnes, a brand breakdown. I thank everybody for watching. I hope you learned something. The best way to connect with me is down in the comments section 
or on Instagram. If you find something big Agnes, man, I'd love to see a picture of it. Shoot me a picture on Instagram would be awesome. Um, I thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. I hope you guys are enjoying the series and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.